A digital billboard with personalized COVID-19 thank you messages to first responders has generated some controversy, specifically the appearance of some questionable images. NBC 4's John Caddy's Klimak has more now on this controversy and reaction to it. I just thought it was uh, disgusting. Look away for a second and you miss it. By the time we even got a scene, it was gone. But here it is, a billboard ad thanking police officers. We blurred the pseudonym, which turned out to match an acronym of a disparaging slogan targeting police, but the face is unmistakable. He murdered four people, three of which were law enforcement officers, and they have spouses, family members, um, and friends that are gonna be forced to live with uh, the acts of Dorner for the rest of their lives, so I was pretty disgusted by it. Former LAPD officer Christopher Dorner, the target of a two-week manhunt, leaving a trail of death and fear in its wake in February of 2013. and made headlines around the world. NBC4 viewers spotted that digital billboard in at least three places, off the 405 in Carson, on the 10 freeway near the 605, and even in Orange County. So we don't take this lightly. We're blaming it on our uh, oversight, not our heart. The company behind the digital billboard says it was part of an affordable campaign to let regular people thank first responders in the aftermath of the COVID pandemic. $20 got your picture and a message posted on multiple billboards across Southern California. It was our intentions to do good, but as Grandma used to say, uh, no good deed goes undone uh, without some, some, some form of punishment. We spotted alleged messages from WikiLeaks founder Julian Assange and fugitive former CIA agent Edward Snowden mixed in with thoughtful messages to real-life pandemic heroes. This was a glitch. Uh, it was not a personal attempt on our part or anybody's part to hurt the families that have already been hurt. But Dorner's is now gone. The company saying it was removed the moment the error was noted. But it's also led to the end of the campaign itself, which raised thousands of dollars for local fire departments and hospitals. From Baldwin Park, John Cathy's Klimak, NBC4 News.